my boy Vibes in the building. Yo, yo, yo. All the way from Brooklyn, New York. We outside. We and outside. Brooklyn's finest. You feel me? Dope artist, man. Versatile dude. You know, anybody I bring on here is somebody that's doing something artistically crazy. You feel me? Go ahead and tell them about yourself, Vibes. Yo, what's up, man? Um, yeah, my name is Vibes. So y'all better look me up. I got to let y'all know how it's spelled. It's V-I-B-E-Z because, you know, everybody like to put that Y in it. But nah, it's Vibes. Uh, yeah, but um, I'm a dancer. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> how long you been dancing for? <laughs> what styles of dance you do? Talk to them. Yeah, um, I do actually. I do a, a whole bunch of styles, but my main style that everyone know me for is flexing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I better get them flexing my hype up. Any any accolades you got in the field right now with me? What's some work you've done? You feel me? Like, you know, tell them a little bit about your resume. You feel me? Yeah, um, we done did a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Um, first I'm gonna say my crew is the Ringmasters crew. You know what I mean? I dance okay. with uh, Big shout out pop, to the Ringmasters. Pop, 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 pop. Shout out to Ringmasters, you know what I mean? So basically I dance with the people who found it that danced out flexing itself. So each and every person on my crew is basically a founder of each foundational part of the style, whether it's the pausing, the gliding, the get low, you know what I mean, the brook up styles, which with whoever had their different styles from different parts of brook up. I mean from Brooklyn. Um, bone breaking hat tricks, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. As a conglomerate, I would say the whole flex of movement, you know what I mean? We done did many stuff like tours from Rihanna, Beyonce, Madonna, you know what I mean? Shout out to my son Hob that my son is the VIP. Yeah, shout out to Hobby. My son's the VIP. He did three of them. Three of them. Beyonce, Rihanna, crazy. and Madonna. That boy go crazy, man. Yeah, flexing has been going wild, man. Shout out to all the flexers doing their thing right now, bro. Yeah, but um, me personally, I done did so much. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to definitely start by saying I've been to every continent other than Africa and Australia. Yo. And majority of the money that I made in my life was all through dancing. You know what I'm trying to say? Hey, shout out to the A train. That's motivation right there. Shout out to the A train. Yeah. That's how that's that's really why I was able to really do everything I did because I was already making my own money at 15, 16 years old. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Like right. on a train. Like once I made two hundred dollars in one day, it was yeah, hard for me. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? The fuck I'm gonna work at a job and, and make less money for somebody to talk to me like as if I'm scared to say I right. leave. Well, you know what I'm trying to say? Money. Yeah, that's why I never really had a job because I felt like they couldn't pay me more than I could pay myself. What's a what's a uh, what's a favorite project or job you ever got to book or do? Like, um, I mean, it's it's so many. You know what I mean? I done did stuff. I done did the Ellen Show. I done toured with Madonna. You know what I mean? I done did the Grammys with her. I done did Stromae. If y'all know who Stromae is, my son from France. Um, I done did. I done did my own tour in China, and I did a tour with my um bro Nugget and stuff. Shout and out to my boy Nugget. Yeah, 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 yeah. I done did the Steve Harvey Show, the Brit Awards, Puma Quest. Oh, that was lit out there. Puma Quest. Puma Quest was a. Uh, it was a dope. Oh, man, resume. Look at this. Right <laughs> it was dope experience for the Puma Quest because not only did I uh get to go out there to France and stuff and stuff um <laughs> my fault I was paying attention to something else. But um, yeah, so every time you go to that place where I taught the class at, they have a a, a Puma sneaker with my name on it. Like a case. Whoa, Yo, that's, that's hard. That's you know crazy. What I'm to say? And it was dope teaching a whole culture that was not where I'm from, who don't speak a lick of English. I'm, I'm teaching like, not only am I across the world, but I'm teaching like 30, 40 people that don't speak no English. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? So, um, but you said, um, you said, you said, um, what was my, my, the best one or, or my favorite one? Um, I'm going to say, like I said, it, it was, every, everyone has his own experience, but one of the best ones I would say, I would say is the, um, when I had toured with Madonna, because not only was it like one of the first jobs that I had ever worked on and booked in my life, but it prepared, it was so hard. Yeah, you had to be like tech rehearsals. Boy, like, imagine that, not right? really yeah. booking any jobs to straight tour with Madonna. And I was the youngest one on her tour. I, I, you know what I mean? I broke a record on her That's tour. Right. I had the, uh, the most costume changes. I had 12 costumes I had to change throughout the show. But I was, I was like I like I said, it was one of the best for me because it prepared me for every job after that. Well, y'all heard it here. Yo, that's that's wild. I mean, Madonna's 
huge artist. Shout outs to Madonna. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I know Brooklyn. We don't. That's why I said outside because you know Brooklyn. We are the originators of outside. Yeah. Don't front. We said it first. What are your goals with your arts? Well, as of right now, I'm trying to build more stuff in different avenues outside of dancing because I feel like um, majority of dancers they don't really have a voice. You know what I'm trying to say? Like they don't. If you remember that movie, I think it was a scary movie too, when it's like, oh, you're dating a dancer? That's like worse than dating the security guard. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to open new lanes and stuff for dancers. So dancers, because I have a voice, I'm, I'm doing a fashion thing now. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm right, doing yeah. the music. You make your own clothes. I like the custom jacket. Yeah, you see that? See you the see custom that? jacket? You see that? See that? <laughs> see that? Them see that? Them see that, them pre that. So I know you're working on music too, bro. Like, you, you, what's up? You dropping that this coming year or what? 2024 music is dropping. Music is dropping. I'm trying to you drop a song first. every month. Woo! You heard it here first. Squad going crazy. You know what I mean? Like, and we're going to have some real amazing visuals to these songs. You know what I'm trying? I'm really trying to give a good visual because I feel like the music game when it comes to music videos is dead. There's no more creativity when it comes to the music. People just swagging guns and shit. Yeah, you know I'm trying to say <laughs> like it's, it's a lot of creativity being lost in hip hop right now. You feel I me? I think so too. And that's exactly why you know we're taking the initiative to show the game what they've been missing. Feel me? Any advice? I'm gonna close it out with this. What is some advice that you would like to give the up and coming artists right now? Believe in yourself. Nobody's not gonna believe in you more than you. You know what I'm trying to say? It doesn't get more deeper than that because it doesn't really matter what you do. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to manifest whatever you want to manifest. So, you know, I'm trying to say really and, and not only believe in yourself, but just know that, like I said, once again, no one is going to do more for you other than you. Yeah, you nobody going to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself either. That's just, that's and remember, remember also that people's not really going to believe you until they actually see like feedback from what you're actually doing, because majority of times. That's People true. who don't believe in themselves, when you tell them about your dream, is far fetched to them. So you say, telling that if they don't see it yet, and their brain is like, this guy, this guy's right. crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? And 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 that that point right there is why a lot of people really don't become successful. Every time they try to uh, tell somebody what they believe in, and and people always shooting them down and stuff. So you know I mean, just just keep going and, and don't yourself. stop and and don't no matter. Uh, if you make money through it or not, do not stop doing it. Because if you if you chasing them back, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Doing it for the wrong you reason, you're gonna drop. Straight from passion. passion. You know what I'm trying to say? Everything you need. They like majority of these people who own all these big companies like Walmart and all of these places and stuff. I heard a lot of them did not get their companies popping until they were, until they was like in their forties. Forties, yeah. Forties, yeah. Like, well, that's fast. A lot that's of these fast. companies. So believe in yourself and go get that. Sh now, appreciate having you, bro. Chip, 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 chip.